How do you measure the different levels of success in your business? Today, we're going to talk about KPI, Key Performance Indicators. These are necessary for your business so that you can determine where you're at, where you're going, and what you need to fix in your business. What's up, guys? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam Marvin, and I have been in the photography industry for 25 plus years. While I love being a creative, business is my passion, and elevating the industry of photography is my focus. I created The Seven Figure Photographer to share my journey to seven figures and help others find their way too. Do you have any specific thoughts on KPI or key performance indicators? Make sure to scroll down below and leave a comment. Don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that you think it could help. Let's get down to business. So today we're going to talk about key performance indicators or KPI as we've talked about. Now, if you're reading right now our business book of the month, The Profit First, or even one of our other books that we've read recently, um, The 12 Week Year, you've seen a lot about key performance indicators. Now, all a key performance indicator is is a quantifiable measure uh, to evaluate evaluate success uh, of an organization organization or an employee. Uh, it's just basically a way to measure certain indicators in your business, and it really helps you to determine where things need to be changed. So today, we're going to talk about three different things that have to do, or three different aspects to KPI. Now. I've talked about this so many times. Um, I hope that maybe at some point in time this is this is like ingrained in someone's head. But the concept of filling the pool. Now, I the house that we used to that we just sold this year. I wanted to build a swimming pool in the backyard, and I talked about it a little bit. But I had these visions in my mind of building this swimming pool and having people over from the neighborhood and friends come over to hang out at my pool and swim and just just have fun have parties and and host people but um the one thing you have to do when you open a pool is fill the pool up so what happens when you get this beautiful pool built and you spend a hundred thousand dollars building this pool and you got to fill it up but you only have one hose well our businesses are much the same way once we get our business built whether it be in your home or in a studio once you open that door you got to get people in the door so how are the different ways that you can get people in the door. And I oftentimes liken this to filling the pool in your backyard. If you put one hose in there and you turn it on, you fill up the pool, it's gonna take a couple of days to fill up all of that space in the pool. But if you get a hold of your neighbor on one side of the fence and say, hey, do you wanna stick your hose over the fence and I'll stick it in the pool, and then another neighbor on all these different sides of, the, of your house and you get everybody to help you fill up the pool, guess what? You're gonna fill up the pool a whole lot faster. Well, business is much the same way. We need to get different avenues or different hoses to fill up our pool or to get people in the door. And one way to determine how these things are working is to create key performance indicators or to recognize the key performance indicators of your business. And some of those key performance indicators can be things like your sales, how many people you book in a year for photography, uh, how many phone calls are coming in, the leads, how many clicks you have on your website, how long people stay on your website. All these things are key performance indicators. Now, just because they're key performance indicators, it doesn't mean that they have any measurable aspect um, that's gonna help you in your business. For instance, um, if I get 700 people a day to my website and I get you know 100 clicks a day, is that measurable? I have to compare it to something else in order to determine whether or not it's doing any good. And when I do compare it to other things, does it really help me determine what's making that needle change. So for me in my business, a couple of the different things that I really determine or what I consider my key performance indicators are leads, um, phone calls. The concept behind it is that without one, you don't have the other or you need one for the other. Uh, but when people call, ultimately we want to get a lead. That means that that person gives us uh, their information and we can mark it down in, in our CRM and determine that this lead is something that we can either take 
and follow up and we can make it something more. We can convert it into a sale, convert it into a booking and all these different things. So the cool thing about key performance indicators um, and the three things that we were gonna talk about is number one, is it measurable? And with leads, it is very measurable. If we have an idea of you know how many leads we need to get because we know that we can take out of every two leads and maybe convert one out of every two into a booking or into a sale, then it gives us a good indication of what we need to do or what we need to change to make things go forward. Website clicks, website um, searches, those are things that can ultimately and hopefully generate new leads. So what do we need to do to make the leads grow? And that might mean getting more people to the website or posting new blog posts, social media with calls to action that drive people to the website. And hopefully we have calls to action on the website that generates leads. So uh, again, like I said, leads are one of those big key performance indicators for us in our business. Now, another one that we often talk about it's something that we've learned that we need to do with our clients is to get them into the studio, at least get them in one time so that we can show them what we do and have an opportunity to sell them the concept of booking a session with us. Now, this is what we call a studio tour, but without the lead, we don't get studio tours. And so we understand that, hey, if we want to get studio tours, um, we have to get more leads in the door, which again goes down to how many people are we getting on the website? What are we doing with all of our activity on social media? And so it's kind of a trickle down effect. You have to understand where are all of those things coming from and what can you change to adjust or to move the needle on your key performance indicator? Um, a couple of different things uh, that really kind of go into this or the next thing that really goes into this is target. Uh, what, with a key performance indicator, what is your target? Um, setting a number or a data point or not, not a data point, but a number and a deadline. How many do you want to have by a certain date? <clears throat> so again, going back to leads, if we look at it as a KPI, we need to determine, okay, how many leads do we need by a certain date? Typically we're going to do this by a monthly or a yearly, uh, measure. For us, we're gonna do it by a monthly measure and we could even break it down into a weekly measure. But if we know that we need at least 100 new leads per month in order to convert, then that is our target, 100 leads in a single month. So 100 leads per 30 days. It gives us a goal, it gives us measurable uh, opportunity and ultimately it leads us to our third uh, point which is clear data in order for us to take a lead and convert it we have to have clear data that means either a name or a phone number or name and phone number and an email address with that data it allows us to keep track of those leads now if you get somebody that calls in and says what is your price and hangs up that's not really a good lead or somebody that is measurable because you really can't do anything with that data uh, to generate or to move it along in the process. So again, there's so many different things that you can consider in your business, key performance indicators. But what I want you to do is consider what is a KPI for you? Is it a lead? Is it your sales? They can all be in succession. Uh, the more phone calls I get ultimately should, a uh, should, um, exchange or what's the word I'm looking for, um, convert to more leads, more leads convert to more bookings and more bookings convert into a higher revenue or a, uh, my, my net revenue or gross revenue. So again, there's everything, every different aspect of your, of your business has different KPIs. We're just talking about getting people in the door or filling the pool. Um, and so we're going to look, we're going to dial down to the very aspect of where this all starts. What are the different things that we can do to set measurable targets, um, and get that clear data? For instance, if we, uh, one thing that I do with Instagram or with all of our social accounts is we have 
a link page built. And I just build this page in the back end of my website. It doesn't have any direct link other than from social media, but it allows me to go into my Google Analytics and see, okay, I have 100 people a month that are clicking into my website from Instagram, or I have, you know, these, this information is coming from YouTube, or this is coming from here. So the other way you can do it is to set up a, a different phone number. You can do stuff like uh, through what's called grasshopper.com, where you can create for a couple dollars a month an extra phone number, and you can see the data, how many people call that number. And you can measure that just based on knowing exactly that, hey, the only place this phone number is available is through Instagram or through a specific ad that you send out, whether it be a mailer or whether it be a funnel online or even just a newsletter. If you have a specific phone number in a newsletter that allows you to measure that data and that key performance uh, based on just that phone number because you know that's the only way that people are getting into it. So key performance indicators are a huge aspect to business and it's something that is really, it's hard to keep track of it any other way than using something like a CRM. Now I've talked about this a lot if you guys don't have a CRM, make sure to get one. I'll leave a link below for Pixify, which is what we use. Um, and it keeps all this data in one place and allows you to set goals and create information so that you can keep track of your key performance indicators and know how many people are you getting in with leads? How are you converting them? If you know that you can convert uh, one out of every 10 leads, then you know that you just need to get as many sets of 10 leads or as many leads as you can because if you can get one from every 10 get 100 leads you got 10 new clients and if you know your numbers you know that each one of your clients is worth a certain amount of money now here's a great example i have a couple of my top clients i know that those clients are worth a minimum of 10 to fifteen thousand dollars per year to my business if i told you if i handed you the phone number for one of my clients and I said, hey, I've already primed the pump, I've already talked to them, they're ready, all you have to do is call and do your job and you can turn this client into $15,000 a month. Would you pass up any opportunity to serve that client? No. The same goes for leads. Any new person that has any expressed interest in your business could potentially be worth that $3,000 to $15,000. When you look at it in that aspect, don't you wanna make sure that you do everything you can to take care of every potential lead that comes to your business because each one of them could be worth a couple thousand dollars. So take it for what it's worth. Make sure to find a good system for keeping track of that clear data that you get and set target or set goals. Um, determine what your key performance indicators are and measure those goals and figure out a way to keep track of that data and make sure to take care of those clients because that is how you fill the pool, you get more people in the door, you book more clients and you sell more people and make more money. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you had any questions, make sure to comment below. We'd love to hear them. Also, make sure to smash the like button and share this with a friend that you think it might be helpful for. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. 